Hey guys, today I'm so excited to talk to you about the movie Twisters. Now, I have to preface this by saying I love the first film. I love Twisters. It's one of my favorite disaster films and it's something that I watched when I was younger and it, I've revisited it multiple times since. So I was very much looking forward to Twisters and well, for me, it didn't disappoint. This is basically the definition of a summer blockbuster film, okay? It is fun, it is massive, it is intense. You're gonna be hanging on to the edge of your seat for dear life and the soundtrack. And then of course you have two lead actors who just ooze chemistry. I mean, Glenn Powell and, and Daisy Edgar Jones together are fantastic, separate are fantastic. It's very easy to fall in love with her right from the very first scene, which again, right from the very first scene, they're like, oh, Twisters is a disaster movie. If you guys weren't sure and you didn't know, here it is. Right from the beginning, it's intense. And then, you know, it dives into the story and then it gets intense and intense and intense. Um, the story is fine. The story is very simple. I enjoyed it. It's cute. It's a will they, won't they between, you know, Tyler, who's played by Glenn Powell and Kate, who's played by Daisy Edgar Jones. And, but it, but it's cute, right? There's something that has pulled her away. A tragedy has pulled her away from chasing tornadoes. Uh, even though she wants to chase them for a good reason, she thinks she has figured out through science and um, Helen Hunt much, uh, how to stop tornadoes dead in their tracks. She thinks she's figured that out. So she's been, you know, she wanted to try that tragedy strikes and she moves away from it. She still stays in the um, realm of weather, but she's more behind behind a desk. So she needs her old friend Javi to come along and say, hey, I need you, come help. And he has his own little story that he works for mysterious people. And obviously, I mean, you can probably guess where that's gonna go, but it's, it's still, it didn't bother me. I thought it was fine. I really enjoyed the plot between Tyler and Kate though. I thought that was great. I like how this movie does not shy away from the devastation and destruction that is left in the path of natural disasters. We get to see the aftermath and it's it's a lot. I brought my 11 year old daughter with me. She absolutely loved it. She had so much fun. Again, right from the first scene, she loved it. Uh, but there were moments she was crying, especially don't showing the devastation and, and destruction and the aftermath, right? She had literal tears. Like, I mean, she was sobbing. It was a lot. Um, I had to console her a little bit and you know, it's, it, I like that they don't shy away from that. They're not like completely glamorizing, um, natural disasters, right? Now, obviously these are tornado chasers and there's a lot more tornado chasers, right? Tyler live streams it on YouTube. So now he's got all these followers who want to do the same thing, but they don't completely glamorize it. They show you that these things can kill. These things can hurt. They will rip everything away from you. And that is a talking point that they say multiple times throughout Twisters. Uh, and that's one of the things I love about it. Now, I will say the action sequences are insane. The disaster scenes are insane. The tornado sequences are, are crazy. Like literal hang on to the edge of your seat. There's a scene in a movie theater that I think is fantastic. It kind of represents how we all felt watching the movie in, in IMAX, in my press screening. Again, okay, definitely recommend this for the big screen, by the way. Absolutely see this movie in IMAX. I would love to see it in 4DX. I think that would be a lot of fun. I've done a few 4DX films and this feels like the perfect 4DX film. Um, I feel like you'd probably be right in the middle of the storm. It would be insane and intense. But yeah, I love Glenn Powell in this and I love him and Daisy's um, relationship. I think the story is cute um, and it's just, it's fun. It's a movie that is a lot of fun. Like I said, the soundtrack is great. Uh, especially like when the big intense moments hit. It's a little too long, you know, it's like just over two hours or right around two hours. It could have been 15 minutes shorter, but I'm not mad at it. Everything is too long right now anyway. Um, like let's, if we're being honest, everything is too long right now. But I had a lot of fun with it. I really enjoyed it. Um, and I think you guys will too. It's definitely something to go see on the biggest screen possible in theaters this summer. It is the definition of a summer blockbuster. Let me know if you're excited for Twisters down below in the comments. If you've already seen Twisters by the time you got to this review, let me know what you thought. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos like this one. Follow me over on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and you guys can check me out at mamasgeeky.com. Thanks, I'll see you next time.